What's up everybody, I'm Dr McKay and welcome back to my channel. Now before we start today's video I'd like to thank all of my subscribers for their constant support because I've just reached 50 subscribers on my channel and I want to thank every one of my subscribers for subscribing. Now I know it doesn't seem like a lot but to me it really does mean a lot. Now today's video we are talking about how to make small grid merge to large grid blocks. Now. You're probably thinking, well, what do you mean, Dr. McKay? Well, as you can see here, I have a small grid, say, banner, which says 50 subs, connected to the large grid. Now, there's only one way I know of that is guaranteed to work, but there could be other ways that people have figured out, but this is the one way I know that works. So firstly, you need to have a rotor, a large grid rotor. Now, I've got two of them set up here, but just, just to show you where they are, obviously you click left bumper, the left bumper, left stick, then right trigger all the way over to the advanced systems, and it's this one here. And obviously, once you get it in, you place it, it's that one, but that's the advanced rotor. But obviously, you can change it. Now, you can change it to the normal one, so that's the normal one, and that's the advanced one. But we already have them in, so we don't need to put them in. So first thing you need to do, place them down wherever you want to attach your small grid to. But just remember you're attaching it to the top. So if you want it to be flush with your floor, then you have to set it inside the floor. Right, so once you've built it, you then need to grind away or remove the top part. So you have nothing there. And then come down to a control panel and then find it in your panel. So this one's just the rotor, which is that one. You come into the middle column and you come down to where it says add rotor head now you just click on add small head so once you click the small head you, you go back to it and you weld it up and now you can connect small blocks or small grid blocks to it like so and then you can obviously do whatever you want with small grid now attached to this block the other, the other one is the advanced rotor block now this one I like to have a bit of fun with, especially in survival, because it doesn't cost a lot to make a rotor. I have four pockets. Let me just empty something. So basically you do the same, you grind off the top, you go down to the control panel, find the advanced rotor, which is that one, click on add small head. Once you've added the small head, you weld it up. Now, when I play a survival game, I sometimes struggle to find cobalt. Unless it's within the one kilometer radius of my base, I do struggle to find it. And then obviously, to make a large storage box, a large one, which is that one, it requires 24 metal grids. Now, at the very start of the game, you don't really want to use your metal grids. Now, you obviously can afford 24 with your drop pod, you know, and obviously a smaller one the small cargo container for large grid costs four metal grids so that's like your hydrogen thruster on your drop pod so if you can manage to make the rotor and the advanced rotor top and you still haven't found cobalt you can literally make a large cargo container for the small grid and it doesn't cost any metal grids so it's quite handy to have it and that's it there look and you can also equip your like mini survival kit, which is that one. Obviously, make sure you pair up the uh, correct connection port. And it just makes life a little easier for resources if you're playing in like a hardcore survival or something like that. So it's like a little tip. And the other thing, as you can see, is spinning around in the background here is. Obviously, the 50 subs block over there, I've blueprinted it, and then I've put it on a projector. Now, the projector's not on a small grid block, it's on the large grid rotor, then attached to the small grid block, and the, then a the small grid projector. So that's another thing you could do, is to have holograms or projectors of things you make within small grid, connected to a large grid, say, projector or anything like that, and it does come in handy. So I hope you found this video helpful with learning how to merge small grid to large grid blocks. 
and if you did please leave me a like and if you have any questions at all feel free to comment me down in the comments below and i'm sure i can help you out with anything and as always i'd like to thank my subscribers for all the support they give me and if you haven't already subscribed please do i'm trying to bump it up from 50 yeah keep bringing them in i'm not in any meg mega rush to get subscribers but it's always nice to get a constant flow of them i've been dr mckay Thank you for watching, and as always, happy building, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.